gentlemen, welcome to the year on ice paddle of SAC Anime Summer 2018. I am your MC for a little bit, Matthew, and I will be bringing everybody up to the desk and let's get them all situated and let's get this party uh, panel started. First up, I we have the the one, the only, the title character himself, Yuri Katsuki, Josh Grill. Before we go any further, Mr. Grail, I do want to give you something really quick. What? Do what? Uh. I'll be taking those back uh, right, by the end of the panel. Thank you, Mr. Grail. All right, next up we have Hiroshi Moroka, Sunny Straight. Uh, I have to tell you, backstage, what we hear is <laughs> Sunny Straight! <laughs> All right, next. Right backstage, they heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I next got free up, sunglasses. We have Melia, we have Monica Rio! Uh, no, that. no, you're, you are totally fine. I am a very mean Russian. I will pick you up over my head like you do. Promises, <laughs> promises. Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't want any fights already. No offense to any Russians. Oh, this is yours. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe after the panel. Do we have any Russians? What is Donald Trump really like? <laughs> Starting it off right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. okay. All right, coming up next to the stage, Celestio, Ian Sinclair. Chuck. Yeah. Uh, this way my chairs. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Hi. Hi. There's a lot of you. There's a quail man. Hi. I can't see any of you because those are so bright. <laughs> like... Yeah, could you turn up the lights a little bit? Just... <laughs> We're doing a panel to an oncoming train right now. <laughs> <laughs> like... We can still see the first row, dude. Come on. I'll squint right. my way through. Coming up to the stage, we have Lilia Catlin Glass. I love that intro. It sounded like a surreal strip club. <laughs> Coming up to the stage, it's Monica <laughs> Rio shaking it for your pleasure. Uh, <laughs> all right. Hi. Hi. What up? My name's Hi, Caitlin. Guys. Hi. <laughs> so what is this? What is this about? Well, we're missing Wait, one more person. I think we're missing one more person. We have one person left. Yuri. Yes. Come uh, on, come on, the center is, stage. Is Give a big round of applause to. Can I? What? Huh? What? I'm sorry. I'm, go ahead. <laughs> is uh, is Benami here? No. Yeah. 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 Yes. Let's bring up finally Trina Nashimura. <laughs> Woo! Chicken nugget. That's my name. <laughs> to be fair, though, I have Minami start my power rankings for best character. That's not my name. That's your name. No, 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 no. Fourth, fourth, fourth. Male. All right. Thank you all for thank you all for coming out to this panel. Uh, my first question to everybody is, how did you get involved um, with the Yuri on Ice? Oh my. How did you get involved Sunny. with what? Sunny. 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 Uh, Okay, so I'm gonna have to take the blame on that one because I directed it and I cast them. Yes. Yeah. 
What do you, what do you think of the casting choices, huh? Let's go, huh? They're like perfect for, th what, how else can I make people yell? Let's hear it for Monica! Thanks. Is this gonna be like a thing where you ask us questions or is it we just go wild like in the Wild West and just do whatever we want to? Because we could end up naked. It's, it's, up, it's up to everybody here. It's up to everybody. Finger guns. We're from Texas. Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Elvis? We're totally there? not like that. No, we're Cactus Jack. Oh, uh, Cactus Jack. Yeah, bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. Oh, old school wrestling. Come on. We turned into mankind. I'm Never sorry mind. I did that. Has this panel started? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, we started, started uh, 10 minutes ago. This happens any time a big group of Funimation actors get together on a panel. They ju it just crashes right yep. from the beginning. It's like herding cats, and even once they're herded together, it's, it's going to be chaos. <laughs> That's really my point. Ow! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, like I said, no fighting until after the end of the panel. All right. Only on pay-per-view. All right, so what is your... So, yeah, we, we had our first I feel question. like... <laughs> All right, you got to... Yeah. Okay. You have to be specific. Ow, that hurt. Okay, let me let me change gears for a second. By this is for everybody. By what? By being. I believe in you. It's hard. It's turning. That's hard. Is it keeping you cold? Huh? You can do it. What's happening? Oh I yeah. Yuri! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! The Uncola. Ah ah. Thank you. Okay, they need to do this That's for 55 minutes and then we're all going home for the rest of the night. Okay, okay, but uh. So was but, that the question? Okay, yeah, I was kidding to that. It's on the tent city. Oh, done. Okay. We're done here. This so over. by. So throughout the project of Yuri on Ice, has has it um, has it affected your um, your outlook on figure skating in, in general? Do you That's like it question. more? Do you yeah. like it less? Uh, I, I like it more like because I know what those scores research? mean now. Right. No. Like. Oh, that's so sweet of Yay! Me. I didn't know what a triple Lutz was. Yeah. Round of applause for uh, Kelly, ladies and gentlemen. What? I can take it back. To Kelly is the real hero. <laughs> okay, that Gold like, member of this Grand Prix. That's right. Is that sports? What's um, happening? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, is that sports? I think who said that? Who said, is that sports? Gold medal. Let's, the question was, Gold do we like ice skating more now, now that we've done the show? Oh. How awful... <laughs> That's a ringing endorsement there from the end. Is anybody going to say no, though? Is anybody going to watch that fun show and go, nah, that no, makes No, actually, less I, I like it less now. Yeah, right. right? <laughs> I was really into figure skating till Yuri on Ice, and then, <laughs> <laughs> why have you done this to my favorite sport? Right, right. I, I knew very little about the sport. I've never really been much of a sports fan in my life. Uh, but I have a much, I have, I, and I still, to this day, I cannot tell you after working on the show what the difference is between a triple Lutz and a triple Sal Cow. I do know that they exist now. You've done tons of them. Yes, I have done tons. I know that Yuri looks great when he does them. Yeah. Especially that booty. But. Booty butt. The booty butt, yes. I don't know but I still and it, I still don't necessarily know all of 100% like all the ins and outs of the sport all of the different like you know it, exactly what you do in scoring everything but I did get to watch the, the Winter Olympics this year you know after working on Yuri and I did have a like I had a much deeper understanding of what was going on and a deeper appreciation for exactly what these athletes are doing to themselves while they're out there uh, just just the this Expressing themselves artistically, but through intense physical, uh, yeah, torture. But yeah, exactly. So like, yeah, it's it, it's. I have a much deeper appreciation for it now. Torture and sparkles. Yes. Yay! Yeah. Torture and sparkles. Yeah. I know I can't ice skate. Of course, yeah. yeah. So it's fun to pretend I could for a hot second. I can technically ice skate, but it it's painful. But we went that one day. Josh, didn't you go? That day yeah. we went to the mm -hmm. Galleria. Joanna, you came. That was fun. It, it was, was a lot like, of we that tried, was fun. We tried to have a year. I wasn't ice. invited. 
You, you yes, were you were. Invited. I, I was at a con or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we tried to have a little ice skating cast party, but it's difficult because we travel a lot. Yeah. We go all over. So it was some middle of the day, go to the Galleria, which is a big mall in Dallas that has a, a skating rink in the middle. We had, we had a good time. I'll tell you one thing. Fancy. Yuri on Ice made me appreciate <laughs> Yuri on Ice more. Uh, when I was first handed this idea, uh, Zach, one of our producers, said, uh, yeah, it's a show about a couple of uh, ice skaters. <laughs> That's the best Zach impersonation, <laughs> yeah. and you guys don't even know. <laughs> and, uh, I'm like, oh, that sounds exciting. <laughs> And then I saw a preview of it, and it was just skating. It was just, have you seen this preview where he's mm -hmm. just ice skating? Yeah. And I could tell by the detail they're putting into this uh, animation that they care about this, so it's probably going to be pretty good. And I told Zach that, and he goes, oh, whatever. The first, <laughs> first meeting we had with the directors, we, we got a list of all the shows we're doing that season, and they ranked them by importance. And the 20 shows we had, I think Yuri was 14th or 16th. Yeah, it was like, yeah, 15th. And as soon as we did the first episode, I went, oh my God, this is a really good quality show. It's going to catch on. Yeah. And in, within three weeks, we were fighting for the top three positions every week that came yep. out. So yep. I do appreciate Yuri on Ice a lot more. Yeah. And, and even with the preview video, it was very clear, like, we had no idea what we were getting. Yeah. And, 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 and part of that, and I think also one of the, the really cool things about the, the, just the fact that Yuri exists is the fact that it was such a shot in the dark for the Japanese creators. There was no pre-existing material that was already popular or something. There was no manga that was out or, or an, a, a short novel or a dating sim or and any, any Right, I know. It's just like anything that you would normally, like anything that they would normally make an anime adaptation of something off, there was no pre-existing material for this show. It was a shot in the dark, 100% original creation, and it was a gamble. Yeah. And it paid off. Well, and anyone I cast, they'd go, is this a recurring character? And I'm like, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I had no idea. Cool yeah. The preview video was kind of the first <laughs> in indication, though, of exactly what we could expect. And I think for a lot of us, it was just kind of like, oh, that's gorgeous. It's the, this is the power of rotoscoping. But it also was like, oh, it's free. They just froze the water. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we were very wrong about that. <laughs> and when I would explain the show to people, they go, oh, it's free. Right. No. It's not. People no. told you that it was like free, but ice skating? Yeah, but they froze the water. No, meaning that yeah. Funimation did get charged for it. It was just an oh. anime they gave them. No. Just free. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, give me a moment. <laughs> but do you know what the thing with free is that in, in the end, it's Who like there was oh. no really power couple. With Yuri on Ice, there was a power couple in the end. Mm. Um, and, well, and really... Um, uh, go ahead. Um, um, the free um, side over here is like, um, um, okay, maybe two power couples. Uh, Reen maybe and two Sosuke power couples. are All right, totally so basically, a power couple. Define couple. Haru and Mako are totally a power couple. Oh, y'all. Y'all. For real. I'm Russian. <laughs> She's <laughs> Russian. Hey, so, ciao, ciao. Joe, yeah. Joe. Did everyone hear what everyone plays up here? Does everyone know what they do? Oh, okay. Well, then we don't need to say any more. <laughs> Why don't you just talk about it? Do you us, have Sunny? any questions, audience? Sunny, okay. just talk um, about us. What yeah. I'm going to do, I have, I'm going to have everybody, hold on, I'm going to switch over. What I'm going to do is. Give me I one moment. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a beat, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a beat, I'm a, I'm a. While, I, while I get the mic it, situated, it, I do want to ask it. one She's question. Dancing. Favorite ship, yeah. go. Okay. Tweak and Craig. Say Tweak and Craig. Nice. Thank you. What did yeah. you say? Salt. Favorite Tweak and Craig. ship. Oh. Mm. So favorite pairing, favorite favorite two people you want to put together. Uh, mine's pretty old school, but I'm gonna have to go with Abbott and Costello. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> it's a good one. Like Who's that. on first? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, third base. I get it. Wow. Godzilla and King Kong. Oh, that's great. One of the oldest ships. Vegeta that. and Bulma. Yay. Sunny, I really liked our relationship in Convenience Store Boyfriends. Do what? I really liked our relationship in Convenience Store Boyfriends. I did too. Did you guys see that show, The Convenience Store? I didn't answer the we had a healthy relationship. I we we had a nice relationship we going. We were cute. Yeah. We ran the store. Yeah. Thank you. And the back room. 
It was cute. I liked it. Mork and Alex. Did you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mork and Mindy. You kept the control. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Good answer. Hey, Good answer. Thanks. Hi, I don't need Lemon that. Tree. I'm juicy. <laughs> <laughs> Is this mic on? I'm oh, sorry. Pineapple. Hi. And peach. All right. Hi. Hello. Hi. Lots There's of questions. How are you? All right. Good. What is your? You? There's a person with a question, and we are going to give you Yo. our attention. What to do? Sorry. Um, so I was asking, when Beer and Ice first came out, did you ever expect it to explode like this? Just. Yes. <laughs> and I was the only one. Nope. <laughs> I don't. Okay. I don't think anybody expected it to get as big as it did. Yeah, I thought it was going to be pretty big. I, my wife can attest to it because I was saying, they are so wrong, this show is going to be really big. Because also the buzz on the internet was crazy about this. I'd never seen that much excitement for something that no one had ever seen before. So I thought, if this is just halfway good, people are going to just go crazy over it. And it was amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, Yurio? Hello, Yurio. Hello, Yurio. Hey, Yuri, Josh. Hey, what's up? Can you say you love Victor? Can I sing about... Say. No, say you love him. Say, say. Please, now you have say to you sing like it. Victor. Can, can I say I love Victor? Say you love yes. Victor. <sighs> you must say I it. love Victor like I love pork cutlet bowls. <laughs> No one says pork cutlet bowls like Josh Greeley. Oh, yeah. Pork cutlet bowls. I think it's the cutlets that sells it, though. Yeah. Cutlets? Pork cutlets. Yeah. That's some good alliteration. Yeah. Pork cutlets. You have a question? Um, <clears throat> yes? In regards to... Um, Sound a little like Usopp there for a minute. <laughs> yes? Um, in regards... In in regards to Yuri and Ice's positive representation of a same-sex relationship, um, what do you... I didn't notice. Uh, what do you think about the impact that it has on the LGBTQ plus community? Because I've been watching the um, anime for a decade, and personally, if I had been able to watch this when I was younger, it would have made life much easier for Can me. Can I give you a hug? That's yeah. nice. Come up here, yeah. give us all a hug. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. That's fantastic. I will say, if I can, if I can make a little plug for yeah. David Wald, because I feel like this is the yes. time to do yes. it. Yes, yes, 100% um, do if it. If you guys don't know David Wald, he's the voice of Gajil in Fairy Tale and like all the other stuff. He's also a very proud gay man, and so he's kind of taken it under his wing to like bring more, like, bring LGBTQ shows to the awareness of others. So if you guys are into seeing more stuff, more representational stuff, please hit up David Wald on Twitter or Facebook and tell him that you're all in because we've been trying really hard to get that message out and he's determined to make it happen. So just yeah. make sure you contact him and say, I want in. What can I do yeah. to help? Also, and one of the things I really appreciate about Yuri on Ice is that the way it's handled. No one says gay. No one says anything. It's just two people who are in love with each other, and it's not questioned at all. And, um, and I think that's what makes it so powerful. It's like, there's no labels here. We're just, just two people in love. That happens all the time. Yes. And, how, and, how, and, 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 and it also speaks to the power of that type of simplicity in storytelling. Uh, when, when, you're a, when, you, when you stop trying to force an issue on the audience, like, it, like people say, like, it, like some, of the, you know, some of the terms that are thrown out is like, you know, queer bait and stuff like that, which, you know, which is one of the big issues a lot of people had with Free and shows like it. So just the mere fact that they treated it like, it wasn't like, oh, they might be together. <laughs> It was, oh, they might be together. Cool, back to skating. Yeah. It was literally like just the respect, the simplicity to treat someone with respect of saying, oh, you know what? If they are in a relationship, it's the same as any other real world relationship is. It's not special. It's not weird. It's not anything else. It's just a relationship and leave it at that. And but, you can see the result of the power of that simplicity. Yeah. A just a side note, when I played Pee Wee football, my nickname was Queerbait. So I don't know if that's any connection to this. But He's that's, kidding. No, that's what they call it. <laughs> Hi. 
Hi. Hi. I love the show. So thank I'm. You. I love the cast. So thank you. And thanks to that show, I came out this year as bisexual. So thank you. Congrats. <laughs> yes. And my power couple is Victory Forever. <laughs> Born to ship victory. <laughs> <laughs> um, my question is, this is personal, I can change it and ask something else. Um, is there anything in your past life that you wish you could change and go back and fix? Or would you rather keep things the way they are and just learn from it? In our past life, like in the like, past, in this life? Like or like <laughs> she said past life. Like I did not like, like being a cockroach. Like growing up, like, is there oh, anything that man. you wish you could fix and wish, like, crap, I wish I did this a long time ago, or, like, I wish... I, I think that the older you get, the more you realize that all those things that happened to you happen to make you exactly who you are. And if you like who you are now, you shouldn't change anything in your past. That's, no just, that's my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. I would second that. Every... Every pain, every failure, every whatever was a lesson to take, to get something from, to grow from. And if I take away all that pain and all those failures and everything, what did I learn? Yeah. I think it, that's the point, is to find like the difficult times in your life and then figure out how that affected you. Did it affect you in a good way? Is it something that you can use positively to change other people's lives? Mm -hmm. Or is it something that affected you negatively? Okay, well, how can I turn that around and make sure nobody else feels that? Right. So it's kind of what you, what happens to you and what you do with it. Mm -hmm. so. Anybody else? I think y'all did That's great. pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I stabbed a guy once. I, re I regret that. <gasps> no, 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 honey, uh, don't regret I'm that. I'm okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did he deserve it? Huh? You stabbed a guy? Is that what you said? I'm, I'm just kidding. I, I oh, that's too oh. bad. Ah, it explains so much. I was. Like, <laughs> that makes sense. I could see I'm that. I'm just like, good for you, girl. Yeah, I was like, what <laughs> happened? <laughs> that's never good. No oh. <laughs> lessons to take away from this panel. Please be yourself. Um, I, love one another and don't stab people. That's my contribution. Unless they have it coming. Weirdly, like, and this this is a very drier answer for all of it. Um, I wish I was told in high school that none of the, I'm not gonna see any of those people ever again. Yeah. Like, Amen. and and all those people that are negative in your life that right. like you you can get away from them if you want to. Right. Like, you don't have to keep negative things in your life if you don't really want to. And that right. I wish I had known that. That. Um, and my goodness, start saving your money as early as you can. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. I feel Stick like papers. high school for everybody was like the worst. It, like it is. The worst. It's, it's like, you feel like, it's like, oh, yeah. we're going to be friends forever. And it's like, nah. Just, just remember in like five, ten years, you'll find a group of people that are way more like you and way cooler. So, yeah. like, who cares? You didn't get invited to a party. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. We got a big line of people. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Yay. Thank you. Good question. My question starts with Monica, but is eventually for everyone. So, Monica does a particular voice. I can't really do it justice in imitating it, but No one it's... can. <laughs> <laughs> but there are three characters that sound very similar. They're Mayrin from Black Butler, uh, Bienfu from Tales of Berseria, and Kawaii Pop Bastet from Smite. Yes. Do you know the voice I'm talking about? Yes. Kawaii Pop uh, li Listening to that voice before I knew who voiced it, I thought to myself, that voice kind of sounds like it hurts to do. Everybody so. always thinks that. So if you guys don't, I guess May Rin would be the best example. She talks like this! <laughs> right? Everything is really, I like to call it scratchy. Right? It sounds really like it hurts a lot. Um, I'm some kind of weirdo. I mean, we all knew that anyway. Uh, I love that you're from that region where they say wheelie. <laughs> wheelie hot! Wheelie um, but it doesn't hurt me as badly, and so um, I just like to do it a lot. Maybe I've conditioned my voice to be okay with that over years and years and years, because I used to love to like go through the drive through and talk like this, because it's ridiculous. But then when you get to the window, you have to make sure you don't sound like that anymore, because then they're like, Hi. <laughs> so, so my question is, is there any characters that you have voiced throughout your career that has caused you physical pain in your throat or otherwise in voicing? Uh, Tyrion from Ruby. Oh. 
uh, just because and, and the the fight reacts and everything. Well, like when Rooster Teeth uh, records you doing fight foley, especially for Ruby, uh, they'll do they'll handle it very much the same way that prelay audio or uh, fighting video games or any any sort of like JRPG or something will handle fighting foley, which is okay. Give me three regular punches, light. Okay, now give me three light punches, happy. Now give me three light punches, angry. Now give me three light punches, mildly annoyed. Okay, now give me a medium punch. Now give me a medium punch, happy. And, and, and just, yeah, and it just keeps on going. Um, no rest. In yeah, between. and so like the entirety of my fight with Crow in season four and the follow-up scene where for a minute and a half he breaks down crying, then laughing, then cry laughing while he's happily murdering this poor creature. Uh, and, 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 and that's his whole thing. And like we did that for one hour and I could not talk for three days Thanks. afterwards. <laughs> That was the most painful. That's painful. The most painful one for me was uh, present mic. Oh, that's good. Uh, that's which is why I don't do it anymore. <laughs> uh, I, I used to say Usopp because, I mean, I could talk like Krillin all day, but Usopp is Krillin with a little hitch in his voice, and that hitch hurts after a while. So I could only do it like three hours. But present mic, I didn't, I did not know that from this character because. Basically, it just talks like Tom Lycus. He's this misogynist asshole who lives in your state, by the way. Is it Lycus? Tom Lycus, oh, yeah. Lycus. And uh, which is fine until he started screaming last season, and every line was screaming, and I got laryngitis, and then oh. it turned into pneumonia. And I finally said, I can't do this guy anymore. It's too hard. <laughs> it sucked. <laughs> and it's, the, the, it's such a great, what a great show. <laughs> I'm so glad I was here for that. <laughs> it's on camera. We can look this up later. Yeah. <laughs> Your pain brings me pleasure. <laughs> So, Trina has probably the best laugh of everyone. She's ever laughing is. at the downfall so, of my career. Y'all got to hear it. <laughs> you with your silly weak voice. <laughs> oh, what I said was I can't do this guy anymore. It's too hard. Uh, if you, yeah, there it is. If you had met the guy <laughs> I'm talking about, <laughs> he was always in my throat. <laughs> And it, I mean, deep, painful areas of my throat. Oh, that was good. That was good. I mean, everybody. I would finish the session. I just don't want to go back. Okay. To that particular guy again. You child. Oh. And panel over. Like, right now. Like, <laughs> sorry. Um, sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry. I think for me, uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Tell us about a character you did. <laughs> did a character ever get stuck in your throat? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, okay, uh, Mira Jane, when she does her first transformation, she does this crazy yell, and it was like really awesome and therapeutic, and I loved it. But like afterwards, I could only talk like this. <gasps> so I walked around the studio and I'm like, does anybody need this? Because it's never happening again. <laughs> Sounds like, like, Girl, you sound fine as hell like that. <laughs> like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> uh, how are you doing? Yeah. <clears throat> um, My name is Monica Rial. My name is Monica. <laughs> how are you doing? Vegeta, get over here for the hour. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it's gonna tickle me for a minute. So who hurt you? Um, I would say uh, Conda and D. Gray Man hurt a lot. Um, anything where I'd have to push myself down into this area and then also continue to gravel scream. And he, I remember one fight that he did where literally he's walking towards a blast as his skin is melting off, and they just had me keep on screaming. <laughs> And they actually have audio of a vocal cord of mine popping. Um, no. It's, it's ah! and you can hear this little when the director looked at me and goes, uh, and I go, you've got about three more lines before I'm leaving. 
and after like the end of the day, I was just, just gone. I was like, I can't, oh. I couldn't voice act for a week. It's wow, terrible. dude. That sucks. It's terrible. Oh, it's okay. Like, it's <laughs> like, like really, I have repeatedly ruined my voice by doing low voices. But because of that, I'm able to live here in a very easy kind of way that I didn't used to be able to do. I couldn't do that because I used to sound like this. And then I did Toriko and blew out my voice. So that's how, that's the, how that works. Uh-huh. I think you'll, you'll sense a theme. A lot of us blow out our voices from yelling. Yep. From yelling. Uh, yeah, whether it's because you've just yelled all day and your voice goes, we're done, or you don't get to play yelling characters very often and then suddenly you do. And uh, sorry that I have these sunglasses on, but those lights are ridiculous and I want to not have a migraine for the rest of the weekend. So, uh, yeah, I play a character named Deneva in Claymore. Just a really, really great, super cool show, uh, full of tough chicks, and she just has like a, a big transformation scene where what's called their yoki, which is like their kind of the, their demon energy powers come out, and she heals herself kind of like a Wolverine or something, and when she does that, she gets crazy monster voice, and um, she's talking a lot and shouting and healing and like power up. It's it's nuts and it was impossible to just punch in for parts of it like I had to do it you just have to do it yeah. and um, so I did the thing and it was awesome and really fun and it did not really hurt while I did it but we missed something in the timing of it so Colleen who was directing was like I'm sorry we have to do another one can you do it and I was like yeah. <laughs> so no it was like, like well, you, you, get, you get it once and I think I had to do it a second time like on another day so um I do a lot of creatures not sexually but like I <laughs> I do a lot of I voice a lot of creatures that was not really well put I voice a lot of creatures uh, most of them are like Small degenerates. <laughs> I don't you know only what that's. do small degenerates? <laughs> On my better days, I do small degenerates. <laughs> 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 on my bad, on, on my bad days. What do you do on your bad days? <laughs> we'll talk about it over a cocktail later. All right. All right. I'm there. Um, uh, so I play a character in a show called Monster Hunter. I play Navi Ru. Thank you. Uh, he's a Navi Ru. Thanks. He's like Tina, and um, it's like all the Belcher children in one person, um, which I love. Uh, but I could only record him for about two hours until I. I couldn't talk anymore. He sounds like this! <laughs> He's awesome! <laughs> He's amazing. I freaking love him. Is this an 18? Yeah. yeah. His name is Navi Ru. He loves donuts! <laughs> creatures are so much fun. Like, Doing insanely creatures is fun. Doing creatures great. Because you can do whatever you want. There aren't any rules. Voicing creatures. Yeah. <laughs> Voicing, not doing. Voicing. Thank you. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you. Thank 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 Thank you. That's so nice. Because Thank you. Because when that show aired, I was in a very deep state of depression. Oh. And when I watched that show, it really lifted my spirits. Good. And it just, it really meant so much to me. So thank you, Welcome. every single one of you. Thank, thank you. you. That's really I'm glad I was there for you, man. Thanks. I'm glad I was there for you. So I just have a quick question, and it's for you, Trina. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. So I'm, not the I'm under the impression that Mina Me represents the entire Yuri on Ice fandom. Do you agree or disagree? Mm. <laughs> yes. Like eye contact from Josh. Okay. Josh! What? <laughs> How do you feel about this question? He doesn't play Minami. <laughs> I'm just asking because I feel like Josh is really an expert. I'm so sorry, I, I got distracted. What was the question? The question <laughs> no, 
I think, question. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, me to me yeah. is like the super fan of all super fans, and he's dope AF. There, I said it. And he likes chicken nuggets, so he is a chicken In other nugget. words, duh. <laughs> I yes. thought so. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, gotcha. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Okay. I'm sorry. I was just getting. I was just hoping for someone to ask. Okay. Tell me the question. I'm sorry. It's Never okay. mind. <laughs> Never mind. Um, what That's are each of your favorite character arcs that happened throughout you, you and I's like, and why? Don't just say Yuri because obviously. Right. <laughs> but, uh, like you, if you have <laughs> favorite character <laughs> arcs throughout the whole show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, Honestly, I, the journey of the pork cutlet bowl. <laughs> I just loved how that was used, and how it was used as, a, as an object from Yurio to basically say, I do like you, you know, yeah. without good. saying it. And it kept building up to Aww, that. Mm-hmm. That's cute. Really good. Mm-hmm. I second that. I agree with Sunny. That was the best arc. <laughs> that was pretty great. <laughs> uh, I, for me, I guess, the other than Yuri, because like, I, I, I got to feel that arc. I got to, you know, go along with him on that arc, and so it does mean a lot to me personally, but I really enjoyed seeing JJ's arc because I would like to see what happens to him now that he has hit rock bottom. It's like the thing that we did, like, and this is the thing to realize, is that when we meet JJ, he has succeeded where he is literally, he is the antithesis of Yuri. (laughs) JJ is the skater that had it all from this, kind of from the word go, who had 100% confidence in his ability and in his, you know, his own sexuality and everything at at all times from the get-go, and at the end of the show, he loses all of it. He ends where Yuri started. Spoiler alert. And so, like, I I really, I really would like to see where JJ goes now, because now he gets to live almost kind of the same story that Yuri got to live and like, okay, you've hit rock bottom. How are you going to come back from it? That's what I'd like to see. Yeah. I also liked any show that had Caitlin in it. Uh-huh. Because uh-huh. that voice is amazing. Uh-huh. That, when Kay- yes. Caitlin does that voice, it's just like, I just want to be disciplined. Right? <laughs> well, It's you just know. so good. No. Oh my God. Only mm. said one syllable and the man mm. is falling on the stage. Duh, duh, Do you duh. hear what I'm hearing? It's amazing. It tickles. <laughs> Thank you. It tickles. <laughs> what? <laughs> you do a good Russian as well. <laughs> oh. Are there any good Russians, though? That's the question. <laughs> we should all do good Russians. All do good Russians. No. So there is the opportunity, really. Is that what you're saying? So there was collusion. Does anyone else have a favorite story arc, or should we go to another question? Uh, let's do another question. question. You got Thank it. You. Thank you. Good question, though. No, we Great just want to get to as many people as we can. Thank you. Thank you. Same. All comes back to poor cutlet balls, I told you. Hi. Is that from Mega Man X on your huh? shirt? Is, is that Mega yes. Man X? That's what I thought, dude. Okay, we'll talk later. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so what? Uh, hey, Mike. The question is, uh, well, I already asked Trina this question yes. back when uh, she was uh, here last, one the last panel, so I'll ask for the other five. Okay. Do you like horror movies? No. 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 That sounds really scary, <laughs> that question. Do you like horror. scary movies? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... Like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Which movie was that from? You yes. Know, that's right. My imagination is too crazy. Uh huh. I don't. Well, it depends on the movie, really. <laughs> yeah. I, it depends on what you mean by horror. Do you mean like campy horror or? or we're talking or universal like, classic like, monsters. What are we doing? Torture porn or like I mean, <laughs> Hellraiser no, like, kind like, of thing or uh, Saw, like Saw, like no, I don't series like Saw. Saw. That's no. torture porn. Saw. I don't like torture. Yeah. Saw horror. No, I don't yeah, like that. No, no Saw. No torture porn for me. Yeah. I mean something like Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Did you ever yeah. see Tucker and Dale versus Evil? You haven't. Okay. Are you a horror fan? Uh, not really. So sorry. Can we say horror? Horror. <laughs> horror. horror. Are you a horror fan? Are you a horror fan? <laughs> I mean, I like horror movies. Anyway, <laughs> I like a lot of horror. 
That's awesome. Uh, so. so we have uh, about 15 minutes to get through this line. All right, cool. Hi. Check out Tucker and Dale versus uh, Evil. Somebody give her a lift. Hey. Good. That's, that's good. That's good. You got it. That's even better. Um, so I have to do the same thing. What I liked about this series was that it brought new fans to the figure skating world. Mm -hmm. And as a longtime figure skating fan, like I was so happy because like mm -hmm. finally we got figure skating and the Olympics to trend. Yes. And it brought figure skating to anime. A lot so of fans from figure skating came over to anime. I'm assuming you watched the, the Winter Olympics this year and you saw the, the pair. Yeah, I've been the a Japanese fan since, like, Christy Yamaguchi. Whoop, so. yeah. whoop, Christy, yeah. my girl! So I was wondering if any of you, just because of the anime, became figure skating fans or got interested. That was actually our first question, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. In a way. Yeah. Um, yes, I did. I, I have since then started watching figure skating when it happens, either the Grand Prix or the Winter Olympics. So yeah, it's. I still don't fully understand what the you know the scoring and all that stuff, but I do enjoy watching. I don't understand the scoring yet either, but I understand it better than I did before. So it makes it more enjoyable. Yeah. Thank you for your question. Yeah. Next. <laughs> Next. Oh, hello. 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 Uh, okay, well, I got three questions. What? Well, oh, just so we, one, we, we can only we do only one. I'm so sorry. Right. And there's a oh. line behind it. Okay, fine. You, oh, you could do one question, but three statements, if you like. Oh, okay, let me Wait. see. Uh, Don't make this more oh, complicated than this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, since there oh, is no Hawaii with red hair, hair, Hair. What do you think if there's going to be a, a, an anime version of Cinderella? Because as I was thinking that Caitlin Glass will be a Cinderella because her last name is Glass. Oh, oh that's cute. Wow. And, and that was a statement, so you can ask and, another. And because I'm a princess. <laughs> and who will be the two who, who stepsisters? Ian. More and like a stepfather. Ian and Chris Sabat. It's 2018. Don't gender assign me. If I want to be wicked, I'm going to be wicked. Uh, oh, stop, whoa, whoa, sorry. whoa. Says the straight white male. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> Are straight white males not Don't supposed be to be prejudiced. allies? Well, I'm just saying, man. Like, it's just a little... I'm sorry. I would be the, the pumpkin that yours. turns into the stagecoach. Uh, okay. Can I be one of the mouses? Oh, I want no, to be a mouse no, with him. Could be Can the I be friend? a niece? Aw, that's what? cute. And cuddly. Gus Gus. <laughs> Josh, you could be Gus Gus. I could be what? what? Gus Gus. Gus Gus. <gasps> I would absolutely be Gus Gus. Yes! <laughs> so who's going to be the prince? That would be me, obviously. Oh, no. I was right or, on the pumpkin. Or, You're or the prince. May, or maybe him. Monica. Monica's Monica, the prince. Because he play as, as Prince Raku, who from Fire mm -hmm. Emblem. I play a lot of princely types. Yeah. I play a lot of princely types. Yeah. <laughs> Monica like is the prince. And, and, and wow. goddess type. I like Mother Milla. Yes, I am a goddess. <laughs> but you didn't know that. Thank you very much for your question. Yeah, thank well, you're you. welcome. It's fantastic. Hello. <laughs> Hello. All right, just a quick question. If you guys had your own routine, what song would you pick for your routine? Oh, that's, oh, cool. that's awesome. <laughs> okay. Now we're all in. It's a good question. Think about it. Prophecy of the Laser Witch by Galacticon. <laughs> I think those are some random words that you just strung together. It's death metal. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, I'd probably go with Firestarter by Prodigy, because oh, that'd be kind of fun to do on the ice. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Gompler, my game. <laughs> Inhale, inhale. Sorry. <laughs> you know I, it's with you. It's crazy. I think I would do the theme to Speed Racer. Oh, yeah. Here he comes. Here comes Speed Racer. He's a, it'd be a very fast skate. And I'd have to. I would jump. And when I did a, a quadruple sal cow, you hear ching 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 ching. Oh my gosh. Is anybody familiar with the band Ghost? Yes. Year Zero. Because it would be really creepy. <laughs> that would be the creepiest ice skating routine ever. Square Hammer's not creepy. <laughs> it's just, just... Uh, I would skate to Killer Queen by Queen. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I don't know why I sound like this right now. I don't know. What that was. I think I would want to skate to Wonderwall just so that the people could be like, eh, here's Caitlin Glass. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> like, that's, that's what I would want. And then, like, everyone would sing along. I could be the worst skater ever, but everybody yeah. would be singing. So that's fine. And do it. <laughs> have, have any. And right. Baby. 
have any professional skaters skated what? to the have any professional skaters done skated to the Macarena yet? I was gonna say Macarena. Oh, oh, he just took his answer. I I'm just saying this song. I'm, I'm, ass, I'm right. assuming no. Macarena. So I can take that. I see you. Vale. Get it. I think we're finished. Hey, Macarena. I like how half the people that I just saw dancing weren't alive for that, man. That was fun. We looked so stupid when we did it back awesome. then. You look awesome and vintage. It followed me from Spain. I was like, oh, I will never hear that again. Mm. <laughs> I, I, I would really like to see if, like, if other skaters in the future will pick songs from Yuri to skate oh, yeah. to because they have skated to Yuri's theme now Yeah. at the past Winter Olympics. That was uh, cool. Pear Skate did it. So I'm wondering if, like, I would love to see someone do Minami's Boogie because that's my favorite. Like, it's just such a catchy tune. Like, I, I like that it. to illustrate catchy tune, you did this. <laughs> it's such a catchy tune. <laughs> what is it? Is that a shimmy? That is sign language for catchy tune. <laughs> I come. <laughs> this is the school of Jeremy Inman's dancing. That's her Jeremy Inman impersonation. In well, case you were wondering. Do we have any more questions? Yeah, if we don't have any more questions, no, we have to no, leave. I, I think that's it. My my only comment before we go to final thoughts is I would put put uh, Africa by Toto. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Ten dollar round. Um, any any final thoughts from any final thoughts from uh, from the cast here before we head off? Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, guys for watching. Thank you. And real quick, is everybody here familiar with the, the, the fact that they announced that we are getting a Yuri movie? Okay. I so, did not know. I thank you guys know. so much for your support of this amazing show no, and no. for all of the just over the years like over the past couple of years all the stories you've come up and shared with us at the conventions we've gone to about like you know what this show has done for your life the things that you have decided to do with your life as a result of it and everything like just it's it's it makes it makes every weekend that we're not working on the next part of the show feel like it it, it. it feels like Yuri is not too far from us, you know. So thank you so much for keeping it alive, and we love you guys. Thank you. As I mentioned earlier, the expectations on this show in-house wasn't that great. And it did so phenomenally well, and that's just because of you guys. So we want to thank you. Thank you guys very thank much. Thank you. Yay. Yay. Thank you for show that. Monica, thank, thank you guys so much, and hopefully the movie will take place in Russia so I get more screen time. Yay. Your closing thoughts, Ian? You good? Ciao, ciao. Yay. <laughs> He has good teeth, at least. <laughs> this is my favorite line. Thank you so much, Sacramento. We had a great time. Y'all have a great night. All right. All right. Thank you very much for coming out. Enjoy the rest of your con. Oh,